down, I'm gonna turn down the defrost. I'm in a rental car. Well, welcome to Iceland. Uh, just flew in, beautiful light coming in, really very windy, typical Icelandic fashion on the landing. And it's still windy right now, so I'm gonna have to be careful driving this big van. It's like a sail. Uh, Brendan picked me up at the airport, like good friends do, and then he dropped me right back off here at the rental car place. So I got this empty van here that I'll be driving for the next 12 days around Iceland. We're doing the entire ring road, and I wanna to touch on a lot more about this trip in this video and a couple videos more to come. I think I'll make a little mini series here in Iceland, uh, but I haven't vlogged since South Africa, so I might be a bit rusty. It's been just over a month of uh, lots of baby time back at home. Little Mateo Jack is just over seven months old now and he has started crawling. So for those of you who watch the channel often, that's a small life update, but uh, for those who don't, if you're new to the channel, uh, I used to work as an adventure tour leader in South America, and this uh, style of work is something that I really love, and that was just a fantastic chapter in my life, and it's sort of evolved now into adventure photography workshops around the world with Brendan Vanson, who's a very talented and charismatic Canadian travel photographer. Man, I am rusty. I'm already talking way too much, but you guys get the idea. Brendan and I are leading this tour here in Iceland, and we're going to talk about that in this video, sharing a bit of those past adventures and future adventures in the next 12 days. Oh my god, it's such a long <laughs> intro. All right, this video starts right now. Let's go. So I just packed the van this morning and look at how much hail is down in that corner. Who were you going to put in the front, Greg? I was going to say. Uh, Graham, unfortunately. It's precarious up there. We're leaning here. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't have a beer. A beer. <laughs> I don't have a beer holder. No, not a beer holder. Man, this camera is so new. I'm still trying to figure it all out. How's the color, though? It looks fantastic. It gives me. It gives me white teeth, even though they're yellow. It's a wee bit windy this morning. We've got 65 kilometer an hour winds, and it's winter, so driving is going to be tough. location and it looks pretty gloomy and it's still real windy but I'm guessing that you recognize the scene behind me this is the very famous Cookie Felsfoss on the Stefanes Peninsula in Iceland and these winter conditions are super hectic the driving was uh, was very sketchy to say the least we've had 85 kilometer an hour winds today and the roads are a little bit icy in patches so luckily as you guys know I'm Canadian so of course I know how to drive in winter weather not really, I'm joking. This was stressful, but we made it through safely, and that's the most important point. So, very happy to be back here in this awesome location. And this place is totally rinsed, as Gavin Hardcastle would say, but I was able to get a couple of unique perspectives on the waterfall from down at the bottom of the river, actually. There's like a second drop that you can't really see, 
but there's like a, a sort of a secondary waterfall at the bottom and the ice is pooling up in this little lagoon and it's creating just a really nice kind of foreground interest. So I am learning how to take landscape photography photos as a videographer and uh, luckily I've spent a lot of time with a lot of good photographers to learn all these things and be able to share with them with the people in the group. So I'm going to end this video early with those two photos that I was able to capture and uh, I hope that you stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to try and make some vlogs behind the scenes here in this winter wonderland in Iceland. And yeah, we got a 12 day adventure and this is only day number one. I'll see you in the next video. Check it out, check it out.